Wanted. Barn Owl. Rent. Free. Light duties include killing gophers and voles. That's it, really. Come on over. Hey, welcome back to Dirty Vineyard. I'm pretty serious about that owl. If you happen to know an owl somewhere in the Pacific Northwest looking for a free place to stay, all the gophers you can eat, let me know. This is Dirty Vineyard, a full season of growing, harvesting, and winemaking. Join us all season, and maybe subscribe. Thanks. All right, today we're gonna to talk about rootstock and scions, what those are. Basically, they're there to get you started if you ever wanna start a vineyard. I'm gonna show you that today, but let me give you a quick update of what's going on. Look at that. It rained yesterday, and it already looks dry. The Alvarinos are still looking really, really good, and one thing you might notice that I do all the time as I walk up and down these rows, and you can see that they're not really sticking out too much, and that's by design. If you go that way, that's west. That's where the wind comes from. And up here in the Pacific Northwest, the wind comes screaming through this vineyard. So what we try to do is we try to protect them a little bit by putting, up, putting them up through these double wires. But these guys seem to be flourishing. Seem to be a lot of little grapes all over the place. Big broad leaves, nothing wrong with them. These arenos are still feeling pretty good. Look at the, how broad these leaves are. Just looking really, really good. A lot of little grapes all over them. And the tendrils are going nuts. Um, let me show you something real quick. That's a tendril from last year. It's almost like wood. I, I can't even tear this off the wire. Do me a favor. I want to get to know you. Where are you from? Tell me in the comments. And here's the Gracianos. Man, are they looking good. Um, I don't want to jinx anything, but they're getting a lot of water. We got, it rained all day yesterday. But one of the weird things about where we are is we're in zone seven. We're kind of in a rain shadow. So it doesn't, although we're in Oregon, it doesn't actually rain that much here. So we got a free watering yesterday. We actually collected about 700 gallons of that in a rain harvesting system. And so that could come in handy later in the season. All right, let's find out what a rootstock is. Let me show you one. All right, so here's a rootstock. This is the actual rootstock itself. This part right here is called a scion. And so what happens is, is when we get our grapes, we get them on rootstock, and we actually get them from a place in Prosser, Washington called uh, Inland Desert and they do a great job of doing it. So they're very, very resistant to disease. And then you pretty much put whatever you want on here. This is actually the fourth varietal and it's doing really good. It's called Sozo. And let me show you why we have to get them every year. We'll lose a couple of plants, which is super disappointing, but we'll get them back started. They're all a long investment, long time deal. And so for instance, this guy down here, he's a sozo in a Graciano patch. All right, can you see me? How do I look? I know, really good. This doesn't just happen, you gotta work at it. All right, so I'm sitting next to a Graciano here. Graciano's like five years old or something like that. If you go down, See that little shooter right there? Now normally what I would do is pick that off because it's gonna grow big and it's gonna take energy away from the Graciano itself. So what can I do with that little guy? Well, I could pick him. Basically cut him very, very carefully and bring him up to my ICU. Let me show you that. All right, so here I am outside my tasting room. Looks like a shed to me. Don't listen to him. Okay, it's a shed. So in the shed, my ICU, I have a bunch of rootstock that I'm growing right now. Let's go in and look at it. These are rootstocks. You know that little shooter I just showed you? We grabbed those. 
So there they are. And we put them in dirt. And basically what we're waiting for is for them to take root and get a good root ball. Once we have that, all of a sudden you have a root stock. Let's say I want to grow another Alvarino if I've lost one. That's the scion. So I can cut this very carefully with a, with a very specialized knife and put the scion into there. So look, if you're going to start a backyard vineyard or a little vineyard like ours, Basically a rootstock is a really, really good place to start. I'm super serious about that owl. I was thinking of having an owl naming contest when she shows up. Um, you're gonna be immediately disqualified if you put the name Barney. We're not having Barney the barn owl. But until then, thanks for showing up at Dirty Vineyard. I'm gonna go have a glass of wine. Why don't you have one too? I'll see you next time.